35 an hour, 75 an hour, or $112 an hour for the exact same job. Which would you rather choose? There is no hiding that travel nurses make a lot more than staff nurses. But have you heard of an internal travel nurse? No, this is not a true traveler or a local traveler. Internal travelers are the next up and coming thing. Although we haven't heard a lot about them yet. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. I am so happy you are here with me today to talk about this very hot topic right now in the nursing field, internal travel nurses. Before we get into this topic, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. But other than that, that's it for the intro. Let's get into internal travel nurses. To begin this video, let's start with the three W's. What, why, and where, and then end with what this means for you and your career in nursing. I spoke with a fellow travel nurse yesterday who told me she interviewed for an internal travel nurse position offering $75 an hour with guaranteed work and you're a permanent employee of that hospital. That is something true travel nurses do not get but it gets better. $75 as a staff nurse, as an employee of that hospital, doing the exact same thing as a travel nurse, but also the exact same thing as a full-time staff nurse, but getting $75 an hour when your coworkers are only making in the 30s or 40s an hour. How is that even possible? Think of an internal travel nurse, the middleman between a staffer and a traveler. But let's get into the why internal travel nurses. Why is this a hot topic? Why are these nurses now coming about? We've never heard of them before, so why now? I can think of two reasons, finances and security. With hospitals creating their own travel pool, they can dictate how much they pay those nurses. It's not dictated on how the market is at the time, like a true travel nurse. Internal travel nurses also give the hospital system security. When you know you have a pool of internal travel nurses that you are a set price with and you don't have to go out there and reach other true travelers that have a very high rate, you're gonna pick these people. And these people want to work because these people, let's move them over here, are higher paid than the staff nurses which are down here but not as high as a true traveler up here, but this person doesn't have job security, but this person does. It's a win-win on both sides for the internal traveler and the hospital system. And the last of the three W's, let's talk about where these positions are even being offered. I can think of two off the top of my mind. One's up in Pennsylvania and one is down here in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's without doing any research. That's just hearing from the news and hearing from other nurses. I mean, if I went online and would seek out opportunities for this, I'm sure there's a lot more coming. And it seems like this is the new thing coming up into nursing. Employers wanna find permanent work and they don't wanna pay people travel nurse salaries but they know staff nurses want more money, so let's find that middleman. And that's kind of where they've met now. So I think we can see a lot more of these internal travel nurse pools popping up around the nation. So we talked all about internal travel nursing, but what does this mean for you? What does this mean for your career? You have more opportunities. You could be a staff nurse, you could be a travel nurse, but now you can be this internal travel nurse. This gives you more freedom in your career, and isn't that what we all want? It gives you a heightened amount of security, unlike true traveling, where you can get your contract ended at any point. I can see this being the next up and coming kind of work in the nursing profession. And personally, I think it's a great idea. 
I think this is wonderful. It seems like hospitals are now meeting nurses in the middle, and this is where the middle ground is. I know $75 an hour is wonderful. Wonderful! Compared to the $36.25 I was making two years ago as a bedside ER nurse. But what are your thoughts on this? I shared mine, but what do you have to say about this? Do you like this idea? Do you think it's a good idea? Comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on internal travel nursing positions. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.